Sorby, and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of April 27th. And this week, I think we get to really palatably feel, touch, and taste the difference in the change of season that we've had. Yes, we have already come to the spring equinox, but the air has been steady. It has been still. It has been a little bit more heavy, and I feel like this week we actually get to see a shift in some of the energies that we've been in and we've been dealing with. Now, this is also, I'm going to tell you, coming off of the heels of understanding on Sunday that the sun and Uranian energy were interacting with one another. So Sunday really would have been this place and this perspective for us to be coming at life from a little bit of a different perspective, right? We're innovating a little bit. If you've had too much technological stimulation, maybe even this weekend you had to say, look, I've got to care for myself. I've got to put this down for a minute. And you've been able to take that kind of action. But the other thing is that being attracted to things that aren't your normal pace and aren't in your normal grouping of things. Uranian energy is electric. And when it connects with the sun, we want to feel vital, but we've got to do that by getting outside of what has been our norm. So as we come through that on Sunday and we're ready to move into the week and we see Mercury switching signs, we're going to see Beltane happening this week, which is really beautiful because it's the space between spring and summer, but it is this place that, like I said, is a very palatable shift in the energies that we're feeling around us. So let's talk about what all of that means um, for this week. But first, I want to tell you guys, I tried last week I was telling you I was trying out the juices from alphajuiceco.com and last week I tried out the overzealous vegan and I have to tell you I absolutely loved it. So it is again another juice I've tried from them that was really really good and tonight I actually have got green tea and their celery juice going together and it sounds gross but it is so 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 good. So if you're thinking about checking it out still got a discount code for you down below feel free to enjoy okay. All right, at the beginning of this week, we see Mercury kind of taking center stage up out there in the sky. We're going to see Mercury moving on Monday the 27th into the slower paced energy of Taurus. So we're being more earthy. We're moving out of that very fiery, I have to have something to say. We have to have all of these decisions going, right? And now Mercury and Taurus is going to slow down and we're going to maintain things. We're going to laser focus in on some of the things that are structural, are material, are grounded for us, are practical. And we're going to use this practical, more slow, more focused, more intentional thinking for the next three weeks. So think about this in your your life in the area of Taurus in your chart where are you ready to laser kind of focus in if you are a Taurus and it's still birthday season for you you know what conversations do you need to have? What paperwork do you need to finish up? Um, are there things that you need to be doing like journaling and writing? And how has your thinking changed around here at birthday time? This is a wonderful energy to be considering that. Now, I would tell you um, on Tuesday, the 28th, we're going to see Mercury coming into a square with Saturn. Now, this is hard energy because it literally feels like a mental roadblock. You're trying to focus and push something forward with that Mercury and Taurus energy. You're, you're pushing quite slowly, right? You're not doing it quickly. You're doing it Taurus style. And then you're running into Saturn, who's like, nope, there's structure and form over here. This is not grounded. It is a mental constipation kind of energy. So I would tell you, if you have big decisions, you've got to make big plans. You've got to get to the nitty gritty of some details. Um, it may be a little bit better to wait a couple days and let this energy get past you. If you have anything that has to do with negotiations, I would really, if you can, wait on those things for just a couple days to let this energy pass. I think it's going to be more in your favor. And this could also be a day two, even though we're slower in our communication, people's words may feel a little bit heavy this day. So, you know, try and put on a little bit of a thick skin. A lot of people are processing and they're processing just out of their mouths what they think, what they feel, what they believe. And you may be doing some of that this week as well. Okay. Now, as we get to Thursday, April 30th, we're going to see Mercury and Uranus come together in a beautifully innovative, 
energy. This happens once a year and it is like a flash of genius in the pan, right? Like it's just new ideas, new communication, new ideas of what's stability, what's structure, what's material value, new ideas of how do you make money, new ideas of maybe you didn't even see an idea that way and now you're like, oh, I bet you I could do it like this or oh, what if we align with this social group or oh, what if I collaborate over here? It is a beautifully inspired kind of energy. So I hope you do take advantage that day to be inspired. Now it can be entirely electric as well. So if that is a day where you feel like your skin and your brain are literally on fire and you just don't have any capacity with any of these things this week, if you feel like you need to put something down, I really do encourage you to put it down. We are moving into this age of Aquarian, which is heavy tech but your system, your body, your system, your mind, your everything about you is also learning to be in a high tech space, but also still be human. So if you do need a break with all that delicious electric energy, get some juice from Alpha Juice Co. And you can also just put it down and not have to fiercely interact, okay? Now, as we're rounding out this week, we get to May 1st and we're going to see this beautiful Celtic festival of Beltane happening. And I love it because it marks this midpoint between spring and between summer. And as I was learning about this and I got to talk to some people from Ireland this week and get a little bit more educated on it. So I hope I'm saying everything right, but I believe I got the ticket. Um, this idea that for a long time it was a fertility um, festival, like celebrating what the earth can do, right, as we change and we come into this fruitful time, but also just a celebration of the change of seasons and the change of speed of season, right? It's an important time in the ancient calendar for sure, because it does mark this halfway, which tells us that um, we've done good work. That's the thing I think I really want to share with this energy for you this week. May 1st, I don't care what you're doing. Stop and look around and however this timing has been going for you, you have done good work. So let's take a minute and look at that and look at the fruits that it has brought to your table and produced for you as well. Now keep in mind this week as well that Venus is continuing to be in the energy of Gemini and I bring that up because we're in heavy Taurus time. We've even got Mercury and Uranus running through Taurus. Venus is still in Gemini so we're still got a beautiful mind. It's bringing a little bit of harmony to conversation, to the thinking, to the learning that we're doing, value to learning. But Venus is also shifting into position now to be in her slowdown. She is in that shadow time. So the slowdown is happening as she's getting ready to turn retrograde on the 13th. So that's just in a couple weeks. So if you're you know, you're seeing things in relationships or with financial things happen a little bit more slowly. It's okay. Slow and steady really does win the race during Taurus season. You'll get these flashes of ideas. You'll put down maybe the flash of idea you get is that I need a break. That's truly a mark of genius. So take what you need and take what you can do something with this week and just know that you've done good work. All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you've been loving the collaborations. If you haven't had a chance to check out the ones with Sasha Benedetti, um, Shireen Vishmaya, there's been Nadia Shah, Brian Coulter, and just recently, this last Saturday, um, excuse me, this last Friday, Cameron Allen and I talked about herbs in the body. Just beautiful conversations to bring things to your table, spark your thinking, spark your interest, and maybe even spark a tribe that you belong to that you didn't know that you did, okay? All right, you guys, I love you and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everyone.